yes, there is a certain uniform. Uh, for Greenwich, Connecticut, in the summer, it's khakis and topsiders, you know, those brown boat shoes and button-down collars, preferably arrow, and izod, but they don't rip off the alligators here. And of course, in the winter, it's a lovely knitted scarf and a Harris tweed jacket with the patches on the sleeves. That way you can look cool while you're driving around in your Mercedes or your Audi or they got a whole bunch of cars here. James and I were just driving up and there are about 10 car dealerships between the house and here. The only one of interest are the vintage Volkswagens and they've got the buses out there and the Beetles and the Bugs. But, you know, this is my trek every day coming up to the hospital. And I'm getting a little tired of it, but it's not over. It's far from it. Um, right now, my goal is just to get to March 3rd without completely cracking up. Um, from a different time in my life when I was going through a, a very heavy tragedy. Um, yeah, I had to check into the Cracker Factory and uh, I remember this psychiatrist coming in every morning, so Mr. Lundberg, what shall we talk about today? And uh, for like four or five days, my response was, the world and life suck, that is all. And uh, so finally I started talking to him, but you know, I, on the surface, deal with um, challenges, I guess, pretty well. I mean, I've had a few doctors just say to me, it's like, it doesn't show. And of course, they're looking at my x-rays and um, my test. But, you know, the, the amount of nerve damage that's in my lower spine is causing problems with my legs buckling. And it's also causing problems with my bladder. Um, they think one of the nerves is damaged and the other one is just compressed. You know, and you add into that the kidney uh, issue and that whole area of my body is on fire. It's, it's a combination of a fiery pain and it also feels like a dentist putting that nasty little Nazi instrument down on the nerve of your tooth, only it's in my back. You know, I've weathered a lot of storms in my life. And one of my friends mentioned yesterday that, you know, I need to stop taking on um, so much of, of other people's uh, illness. You know, and, and the thing is with but being a shaman is you're trying to alleviate the suffering of other people. And you also need to displace it. Now, people have watched me displace it at fires. But when I don't have that, sometimes I'm at a loss. I mean, I've tried rivers. I live on one. Um, you know, I've tried basically burying it in the ground. And by the way, my fellow Reiki practitioners, don't do this at the end. Be respectful of it. Put it in the ground, you know? Don't, <laughs> like you're some Beverly Hills person shooing away the homeless. Um, you know, it's, it's an ongoing battle. And at this point, I am extremely frustrated. There's no question that last year, dealing with my mother, the breakup, you know, three significant deaths, and plus a lot of people's bullshit. That's over with. Um, it definitely put a strain on me. It, it aged me. And I feel it, although I am getting a lot of the energy back. Um, there are times when I'm just in too much pain uh, to be able to um, hold that level of energy. You know, I'll try. You know, I, I definitely am, in this respect, my mother's son. My father taught me how to survive. 
my mother taught me how to fight. And uh, that was one thing, you know, I was a sickly child. I was very sensitive and empathic. And if there was something to be caught, I usually caught it. And there were a few times where I was near death, but my mother would constantly say to me, grow some spine. I'm like, that's what the problem is. That was after I wrecked my back in the Navy. But, you know, it's, I mean, I, I certainly, the, her, the last week of her life is still fresh in my mind. And uh, my mother was an extremely courageous person and a fighter to the point of annoyance, which I guess I can be at times. Um, I'm trying to be very civilized with the doctors at this point, but uh, it wears thin, especially with people that educated when I'm dealing with willful ignorance. It infuriates me. And yes, I'm in the library, and no, I'm not letting you see that I'm in the large print section. Anyway, you know, we all change, we all grow older. Um, the important thing is not to get old, no matter what. You know, keep that youthful spark. But I have been finding it more and more difficult. I'm going through some treatments now that I am not gonna discuss. Um, you know, yesterday, one of the nice touches though was having this elderly gentleman working on me that was a kind of touch Reiki. I mean, it, it did help chill me out and actually, uh, you know, from the, the physical therapy that I had to do on my back, I mean, there's a whole mixture of things that I'm going to the hospital for right now, but uh, they wanted to see if they could reduce at least the pain in my back by putting me through the stuff with the bands. And I knew when I was doing it, you know, she kept telling me to slow down, not to push so hard. I knew it was gonna be a difficult night. So, you know, now I'm going in to see a couple of doctors and honestly, one of them I cannot stand. Um, you know, <laughs> the receptionist said, well, she can be very Socratic. And I said, it was Socratic or not, uh, does not negate the fact that she's a bitch, and she is. You know, I just, I think she feels threatened by my vocabulary, my knowledge of medicine, and the fact that I question her, not because I'm necessarily disagreeing with her, but because I wanna know as a patient. And uh, I'm sorry, but I do not spell God MD. So anyway, that's it for now. And uh, I'm heading off to my appointment. Um, trying to keep positive outlook, you know, a stiff upper lip. Uh, I am frustrated, though. I really am. And, uh, you know, just because I maintain uh, a strong you know, appearance, etc. Um, doesn't mean I suffer any less. And uh, my blood pressure and other things tend to give that away. Um, you know, I said to a doctor one time, I said, well, if my head explodes, at least I'll look pretty after she complimented me on my appearance. That, be that what it may. I have to get up to the hospital and go put on my clinic face and deal with this happy horse shit. So, you guys rock. You're wonderful. And um, hopefully by the end of this day, I will be able to snap out of this growing dark mood. That's my five euros for what it's worth. Bye now.